we are taking you straight to a Friday edition of Out and About. Yeah, this week we got a really cool lesson in gravity, another lesson in light, sound, all things science, including weather, which I was like really excited Pretty about. Pretty neat that. stuff there. It was a hands on experience right in the heart of Boise. There's lots to do in Boise, plenty to see, but there's one place where you can really discover. We are an interactive, uh, hands-on science center where people can come in and they can play with the different science exhibits. For 25 years, the Discovery Center of Idaho has been the closest museum of its kind, sparing Treasure Valley folks a trip to Portland or Seattle for scientific fun. The fun thing that we do here is we capitalize on people's innate curiosity. People just want to understand how things work. Education Director Woody Sobey says the center puts scientific phenomena in the hands of ordinary people who then learn by experience. Featured exhibits like the current Try This exhibit rotate through the museum about every six months. And you can catch two live science shows daily. We love it when uh, new people come in because they're often awe-inspired and they're having fun and they're just enjoying themselves while learning about science. And, and the fun part is that the learning comes sort of secondary. They don't even realize uh, most of the time that they're learning. We didn't realize we were learning when we tried a few things out for ourselves. Our air brake chair is one of the quintessential Discovery Center exhibits. Everybody loves that. Basically, you sit down in a chair, you hoist yourself up by a rope, uh, you get to the top, you let go, and with gearing and fan blades, uh, it actually slows down your fall just by pushing against the air. It's one of the most popular exhibits. There are some younger ones who get scared. Most of the older people just have a lot of fun with it. One of the things that I love is the whisper dishes. If you're walking through the middle of the museum floor, you can hear a little boy and his dad on opposite ends of the museum, like whispering to each other. And the things you hear is just, it's very cute. She's all the way across the room. One of the other ones that I really love is our vertical wind tunnels out in the front. We've got these tubes and they've got fans below them and you can build a little contraption out of random pieces that we have out there on the floor, stick it in the tube and see what happens to it. I like to see if I can get just the, uh, the craft to hover inside the tube. Other people like to see if they can get them blown out the top and we've got debris scattered about our, our ceiling. Hands on is the way to go for lots of people, even if you're not a good test taker. Nobody has ever failed the Science Center. Someone visiting from the East Coast might come in, and it's really cool to hear people from all over the country and sometimes even all over the world come in and say, oh my God, that was amazing. You know, you have a fabulous place here. A fabulous place to discover the next time you are out and about. And you heard me kind of singing it there a second ago, but that place is amazing. It really is. It's, it's really fun. fun. And if you want your kids to practice their math skills, it's not all just about science necessarily there. They can uh, have a fun way to do it over at the Discovery Center. Yeah, Micron Math Night is tonight. Head there from 4.30 to 7.30 at the Discovery Center. Different uh, activities for them to do get their brain going. There you go. And also coming up in December and January, the Discovery Center will celebrate their 25th anniversary by pulling out some of their favorite exhibits from over the years, and they build many of those yeah. right there in house. And I know what your favorites were. Some of the uh, we didn't even get to the whole place because it's so big, yeah. so many things. The tornado, the yes. fog tornado that was it's amazing. there. A lot of yep. weather stuff. Bree yep. was just captivated. There's in that a room. huge bubble wand thing yeah. that makes bubbles bigger than a person. It's it's really and fun. my eyes too. <laughs> yeah, just awesome. check it out next time you're uh, near Julie Davis Park. That's